<coughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I, I'm Yoki from Korea. And it is my pleasure and honor to be here and to present my study. And, uh, before starting my uh, presentation, I come from the orthopedic quantum mechanics, so maybe uh, my interest is a little bit different from uh, those of you who are uh, So, But it will be a very important uh, opportunity for me to, to understand of your engineering and application field to into the clinical biomechanics. So this is uh, where, where I came from, from Atlanta to Florida, but I came from Korea. It's a very long journey. And this is the uh, uh, CD Suwon in just south suburb of Seoul. And this is our university, Gyeonggi University, which is one of the major uh, private universities. This is the main gate, very beautiful one. And this is new engineering building. Uh, similar to visual human project, we had a visual Korean project, which he, we with that we obtained the full body cross sectional uh, the image uh, of the uh, one male and female and child and after that uh, we can obtain the the full uh, body of the cross sectional images to uh, to create uh, different types of mother so uh, recently I developed the what I call the Gyeonggi University Gyeonggi Human Mother based on the visible Korean project for for the musculoskeletal model, and this is the one of the, the very exciting example using our model because our university ex previous university president is now the president of the World Taekwondo Federation. So our university is very famous for Taekwondo. So this is the one of the important um, animation for our university. <laughs> Like a similar to pump crash or dyna 3D, um, in Korea we have uh, the dynamic software uh, company which is the Recordine function based. So our full uh, dynamic model is is based on the platform of the, the Recordine. And as I saw some some company people from the the uh, works, so. To, to generate this model from the, the images, I used the, the, 3D, uh, the SOLIDWORKS program. Uh, not only the for full body dynamics model, but also we have developed the full body of final element model, uh, including very important joint model, because in orthopedics, joint model is one of the main interest to, to, to do. So, so from inverse dynamics, we just uh, measure, we just uh, assume that the joint is uh, spherical or the, the hinge joint, but it's not in real human. So we have developed the ligaments. Uh, in, in many cases, uh, ligament, uh, meniscus, and cartilages, and some other tendons to 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 mimic the human. So, and in the case we have used, all the models are based on the the abacus. So maybe. Hopefully, I'm trying to contact the, the Simulia Korea in, in Korean to, to, to attach this model to the Abacus. But since recently, Simulia was purchased by the maybe Tassu system, or, or so, so now companies who told me that they are confusing <laughs> to renovate the company. So, anyway. But the, the thing that I'm going to tell you is not the, about the model itself, but the, how can we validate this model and how can we apply this of this model for subject specific cases are those enough so it's not in in biomechanics orthopedic biomechanics field always the surgeon ask us engineers is it true the result is true how can we validate all what what happened if we change the, the, the subject or patients so subject, subject specific modeling is very important including geometry, tissue properties, strength, joint centers, as a, and so on. And how can we uh, validate the results of the model? So recently, in, in, in also Philippines, there is a very important uh, uh, event, which is the, uh, governed or organized by the ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineering. Uh, there is an instrument knee implant, and they can measure the knee joint torque and moment. And then 
there is a certain project that can be uh, operated into the real patient in order to measure the in vivo joint force and movements during the daily activities. And, and then uh, they, 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 they provided the patient's uh, data, which is like uh, MRI data, CT data, or the, the motion data, and so on. And they ask uh, the engineers you can predict the knee joint moment during walking, and then during in last year in, in, in 2010, the uh, ASM biomedical engineer biomechanical engineering conference uh, tried to compete those uh, predict the uh, knee joint force from from simulations, and then try to compare with those the measured in the real patient instrument knee data. So it's kind of the validation or the, the kind of the, or the validation process of the simulation results. Uh, they provide many information such as not only motion data during working, but also uh, the MRI CT data of the knee joints, uh, and as well as the, 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 the passive motion data of the knee using the uh, uh, the fluoroscopic images because it is important to, to uh, calibrate the joint stiffness of the, uh, each patient. And also, they provide certain the, uh, how can I, biodynamic uh, measurement, uh, the measurement result during flexion extension to, 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 to measure the, the maximum torque to calibrate the, the muscle force and criteria during optimization. So, that was the, my uh, goal to, to quantify the in vivo joint force during working using uh, in-house inverse dynamics analysis code and the final model, uh, which we developed in my laboratory. So the SME provided these uh, subject information, motion data, and ground reaction force data. And the markers are totally 43. And and the, the muscles that I developed is, is based on the same modeling, so which is about training muscles in leg. And this is the very in, uh, traditional inverse dynamics analysis, including optimal state optimizations. Uh, this is important. Uh, how can we uh, the calibrate those the modeling, uh, like uh, muscle strength, the scaling of joint center, and initial parameters? Because each motion, the based on the parameter, the result is different from what we measured, what we predict. So we try to, like, a, like by trial error, we try to change the, those uh, optimization parameters. And this is the model we developed, final model from the patient. And the, the, the muscle force I predict from my inverse dynamics are input to the final model. Uh, those are the, the the, the models of the final element during the working. And those are the contact conditions that we uh, measured the in vivo joint contact force uh, during working. So I'm going to focus on more, uh, you know, those are just uh, very traditional English dynamics analysis, but uh, different from the previous uh, conventional way in reverse dynamics, we Using this model, the, the, the multi-scale uh, uh, modeling techniques, we could measure not only just the result of the joint force and moment, uh, but also the medial, medial, medial lateral compartment joint force, which is very important issue in, in, in orthopedics. <coughs> if they want to know uh, what happened to the patient after uh, totally arthroplasty in terms of wear, in terms of uh, st uh, stability, and uh, so on. So, this is the, the medial part joint contact forces I measured. And uh, based on the, the, the definition of the joint center, the result can be, can, the result can be changed like, up to 20%. This is the lateral joint contact forces I, I predict. And this is the total joint contact forces. In that case, uh, I don't know if you are familiar with the, with the, the gate analysis data or not. This is an un, unusual data. And this is <coughs> because after I predict this one, I was a little bit surprised because the this gate uh, joint force are not 
not similar to those who uh, those who I can read from the paper. But I just decided oh, to believe my result, and then I went to the, the challenge competition and I present. It was very close to the the uh, new joint control force measured because the, the organizer asked the, page, uh, the subject to work a little bit differently. I I propose because there are many other previous uh, data available uh, for, for normal working. So they, they ask the, the, the patient to work a little bit I mean, abnormally. Uh, normally, the, the first peak is higher than second peak when we work uh, very normally. So, so this is the, uh, the work that I received from the ASME. I mean, because uh, the, the major data will be available in 2011 journal also also data research, but they could not give us the, the real data. But uh, yeah, the, this is done by uh, Dr. Fragley from uh, maybe Florida University and, and Dr. Lima from uh, the, some hospital in California. But uh, so this is the, the important thing so, that I received last year. So I'm going to close my talk. Uh, uh, I don't know if you are uh, interested in or not to have the attention skipping modeling and things because it is a little bit time consuming and cost ineffective for, for normal uh, in simulation cases. But in, 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 in such cases such as the medical field or certain specific uh, uh, situations, the uh, patient specific or certain specific modeling and, and validation would be very important key factors for 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 for, for achieving better I mean appreciation from the of the results similar results for for from other fields such as the medical field or things. So we have developed a sequential analysis to calculate joint contact forces during working from universal dynamic analysis, steady optimization, final analysis and subject subject specific calibration techniques. And we validate our result by comparing to measured in, in vivo instrument forces. And the subject specific instrument precise dispersional modeling technique could be <coughs> provide better information for for different fields. This is close of my talk. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Thank you my, my uh, uh, most of people are come from different Asian countries, from China, from Korea, from Mongolia, from Vietnam. So our laboratory is, is multi-Asian laboratory. Okay, we probably got time for one question, so we can try and get back on track. Thank you very much. Thank you.